morning. Thank you for coming. So hari ni kita akan continue from um itu uh, khusus apa? Two weeks ago, what 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 kind of course did you attend? Like course, okay? Ingat lagi? Kedah berterabu, semua ingatan. Duk je, duk je, duk je. Okay, alright. Um, it's a bit cramped hari ni sebab kita guna guna dua mesin, okay? Um, dua dua boleh buat like curve, okay? So just a quick recap. Um, we have learned masa kursus cahaya about um, the ways to quantify light. Okay, kita boleh quantify uh, secara zarah, bilangan zarah cahaya dan juga boleh quantify in terms of quality cahaya meaning that the amount of light colors that are actually present in any given light type. Okay. So semua yang kita belajar masa kursus cahaya tu purely um, introduction okay because before buat any kind of photosynthesis measurement you need to understand about light and hopefully you have understood enough dan juga ingatlah right so today kita continue from that light course we want to have a look at what we call as response curve. I think most of you are more familiar with what we call as survey measurement or steady state measurement, meaning that you go to your plants and then you simply clamp, wait for a bit for the plant to stabilize and then you log the data. That's it, okay? That is called survey measurement or steady state measurement. It, it tells you the instantaneous reading of your plants at the moment with whatever setting that you give to the plant okay as you can see the machine has got measuring chamber so the moment the leaf is being clamped into the chamber the world is separated from the ambience surrounding it is it a good thing or bad thing well it gives you power. It gives you power to control what the leaf perceives so that you can study or you can understand how the leaf would react in the similar environment or in any kind of more extreme environment. That's why physiology kind of cool because you can predict what's going to happen to the plant if you were put the plant 50 years ahead in the future. We know that in the future, CO2 is going to rise, temperature is going to increase, and so on. You don't have time travel machine, but you have Lyco machine to simulate future condition. Okay, right. Coming back to the light curve. So, the light curve. Um, I think for... Oh, sorry. Um, I need to open the right one. <coughs> I think for 6400, you do not have this, but this is for 6300. So why do you do light curve? What is meant by the light curve? <clears throat> when you do a graph, you will have the regular x and y axis, okay? The abscissa and ordinate axis. So what axis is this? X or y? X, and this is your y-axis. So in terms of uh, variables, x would be what kind of variables? How many variables are there? Two, four, six, how many variables? Cepat, cepat, cepat. How many variables? Two, four, six. How many variables? Control. Why control? It should be the thing that you manipulate. Your treatment should be here. Manipulated variable. So, Y would be the 
variable or the parameter that you want to measure. So this would be the responding variable. It depends on the boot. Sometimes it's called um, um, independent variable. Independent variable. Oh, it's, it's all the same. Independent variable or sometimes people call it dependent variable. Okay. <clears throat> so when, when you want to create a curve, you need to have this form of graph first, the x and y axis, okay? It's just 2D, okay? With the curve, actually before the actual curve can happen, you need to have raw data first, data points. You need to have data points, okay? So using this machine, while the leaf is being clamped, you can control whatever these X values the leaf is going to experience. Since we are going to do light curve, the X value here would be the incidence light, sometimes labeled as I, or the amount of quanta. or the amount of PPFD, the photosynthetic photon flux density. This is the very thing that you learn during the light course, okay? Whatever it is, it shows one thing, the light intensity, okay? So when you're done with that, axis go to the y axis for the y axis now you want to quantify the response of the leaf that would you like to see as the value of light intensity increases from the low value all the way to the higher value what happens to the y so why here by convention we use a simulation But bear in mind, this is not the only variable that you can use. Some people use um, quantum yield. Some people use the rate of electron transport. All of these are usable, are allowed to be used because the X is still light. light. The effect here is something that you can control, whatever your research question is but for simplicity and by convention we use ppfd here and then we use um, a simulation in in some literature you're going to see that people by nickname they call this curve as a q curve a referring to the s simulation Q referring to the quantum, the PPFD value. All right. So you have set it up. This will um, determine what kind of program that you want to use in the LICO. So for both 6400 and 6800, there is something that we call as autoproc. Okay. Um, I think. Uh, for 1600, that will be the tab on the top, top right, I think. For 6400, um, 6400, I need to recall for a bit because it's been a while. Um, yeah. It's this step here. Sorry. It's this step. Press 5, then F1. Not to worry, you have uh, a go at the actual machine, okay? So from, from this um, press 5 and then F1, remember, okay, the um, LI6400, it has got two kind of menu, the F menu and the numbered menu. Actually, there is the third one, the letter menu, okay? So press this and then the auto program is going to appear on the screen. But for 6800, it's... it's more um, direct 
um, the auto program is there. Okay, coming back to this. So why why do we need to to do all of this um, like curve thing? Okay, so with the data points, you will see that the moment you plot all the data that you have obtained for your light curve activity, the data point, let's say that you take um, 10 measurements of assimilation using 10 different light intensity, maybe from 0, 100 ppfd, all the way until 1000. You're going to see that the pattern, the trend of your data point is going to be biphasic. It's going to look something like this. This is what we call as biphasic curve. What does it mean? Bi means two, phasic, two phases. So you got the first phase, you got the second phase. Okay. <clears throat> Why this is important? This will determine a number of things from the light curve. Okay. Regardless of the plant species or regardless of the plant adaptability, four things can be achieved from light curve. The number one is the dark respiration rate. I need to draw for a bit more. So actually, it looks something like this. Yeah. So dark respiration rate is number number one. This is this is what you get. Okay. Number two is the light compensation point. Okay. Um, the amount of um, light that is enough to trigger net CO2 in and out of the leaf. Put it this way. Um, CO2 can be generated from the leaf because the leaf is a living thing through respiration, cellular respiration, by the action of mitochondria. Meaning that whether the plant is photosynthesizing or not, CO2 is being released continuously. All right. So you have now the plus value of CO2. However, during the day, when the plant is photosynthesizing, utilizing the organelle of chloroplast, CO2, is it being used or is it being released? It's being used, okay? So w the moment, the moment, the amount of CO2 being released by mitochondria is equal, oh no, can compensate the amount of CO2 being used up by the chloroplast, the, now the net is zero, that is called light compensation point, okay? So light compensation point, LCP here, I put here, okay, LCP, CO2 delta equals zero, meaning that CO2 used minus CO2 um, um, released, when you minus these two, it's become zero equals net per C. We call it the net. Okay. How can this happen? As you increase the light amount. When you increase the light amount, when it is zero, definitely CO2 release is higher. Definitely. But as the light increasing gradually, more and more CO2 is being used for photosynthesis. So you can see that the balance, eventually they will match up. The moment it matches, you have reached your light compensation point. Okay. And then number three, so this is number one, reason to do light response curve. Number three is the quantum efficiency. 
the initial slope of the assimilation rate. So this biphasic curve, the first part of the curve, it's called the quantum efficiency, or in some book, it's called quantum yield. Some book even call apparent quantum yield. This, this first part, this slope here, it's very straight, right? So when it looks very steep this way, definitely it has got a slope. Okay, I hope you still remember how to calculate the slope. How do you calculate the slope? People learn from school, right? How to calculate this? How do you calculate? To put it simply, slope equals change in y over change in x. Change means you need to pick two points from the graph. Okay. To simplify it, it becomes delta y over delta x. So you get slope. Therefore, slope, you will only have number, no unit. Remember that slope hasn't got any unit because it's the ratio between the chain, the delta y and the delta x, right? So you get your quantum efficiency. The 100% efficiency is going to look something like this. Let's say that this is your um, graph. The 100% is something like this, straight. This is um, 45 degree. This is 45 degree. That will be a 100, something like that. Okay. But um, nature is not very um, efficient. Sometimes you're going to get something like this. Sometimes you're going to e even going to get higher. And it changes throughout the different light concentration. Okay. And finally is the light saturated photosynthesis or AMAX, meaning that the maximum photosynthesis or maximum assimilation that particular leaf which is being clamped can produce assimilation rate meaning that whatever is the maximum rate here so in here since the rest of it is plateauing the maximum actually arrive around here so this would be your a max maximum assimilation so then you kind of draw down for a bit to find out what is the your light here okay what happens if you keep on increasing the light intensity what's going to happen to this curve is it going to go straight forever why 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 it's going to go down it will go down because now it has entered the photo inhibition. Meaning that light now is not energizing photosynthesis, but light now, be because it's very intense, it is actually damaging the photosynthetic apparatus. Remember, light is energy. Some energy is needed to energize whatever chemical reactions that you are doing but when it's too much this extra excess energy has to go somewhere if it doesn't go somewhere it's going to have impact on the surrounding structure and things will start to collapse okay right so in essence these are the four things that you want to talk about so in terms of plant what do you want to get from it? Okay, so there is a note here for you to read. So whatever that I've, I've, I've just said to you, it's actually here. Okay, yeah. One thing about light curve, you want to determine the degree of, you know, plant, plant 
plant like adaptability plant like adapt adaptability it's got two you got the sun plant you got the shade plant some plant species are naturally sun plant for example like the tropical plants the fruit orchard plants they, they are naturally sun they are exposed to the open sunlight without any problem for example like the rice mango what else yeah open sun no problem whatsoever some plant however they are naturally shade plant for example like the house plant you know the money plant the potos um and, and so on there are naturally sun plant, uh, shade plant meaning that they don't do well under open sun too much sunlight okay however certain plant species can have sun and shade properties depending on the leaf is experiencing lots of light or otherwise the good example is rice so you have your rice plant you got two rice plant if rice a is being exposed to open sun it will become the sun type sun type the leaf is thicker the chlorophyll a b ratio is higher and the photosynthesis is also higher because the rice is grown in open sunlight it is the sun type however the same rice species same variety can also be grown under the shade under nursery condition this particular rice will have the opposite of whatever the sun is having the leaf will be thinner the blade will be narrower the photosynthesis will also be lower and the chlorophyll ab ratio also be also be um, different than the sun type okay so whatever i just said now is corresponding to um, this thing here figure 9.7 so in figure 9.7 it shows two plant species different plant species that are naturally either sun or shade type so the sun plant here is atriplex i don't i'm not sure whether we have this around or not um but and then we have the acerum codotum which is the shade plant okay however the atriplex plant being mentioned here it is pretty much like the rice it can grow both in the open sun condition or also under the shade condition so that would be figure 9.8 the similar plant when it is grown under the sun ppfd 920 micromole you can see the curve looks very different than atriplex grown under the shade condition 92 mole look at that 92 mole the other is 920 moles 10 times more light and the plant is still surviving it's doing just fine this is also the characteristic of rice okay however not all plants have this ability some plants if you increase the light 10 times it will die for sure not all plant species have this capability okay we call it light adaptability right okay and then for the figure 9.9 .9, it shows you um this is actually the um pine needle leaf you see the the pine trees the leaf morphology is different it's in the form of needles okay so you can see that um even though it's it's coming from the same trees but depending on the location or the stage of the leaf the light curve is looking different as well for the forest canopy it's within the canopy you can see that um the a max is that looks super high compared to the shoot and also the individual leaf um randomly somewhere within the plant canopy 
Okay? So it shows you that when you have a plant, each leaf, to some degree, will have other sun or shade type. That's why you do the light curve. You want, you use light curve to explain the capability of the leaf, whether of different positions or due to different age, chronological age of the plant. So it's very, very interesting in that regards. Okay? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about this. Um, for now, we just only focus this. Uh, this would be, um, Terry, your bad news. Actually, at the back. Saba. Saba. <laughs> okay. So, for the reasoning why we do like curve, this is about it. Before I go to the machine, any question? Any question? Remember, okay, when you do something, you need to understand why you are doing it. You don't do it because your crazy supervisor wants you to do it. Because most of the time, crazy supervisor also clueless. Can, can, banyak kan, kata tahu. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> okay, all right. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay. Now we go to the machine. All right. Number one about the machine. Um, let me wrap this first. And that is purely light response curve, okay? If CO2 response curve, it's a different story. It's actually at the back here. You see? I only need one fish for light response curve, but for CO2 response curve, I need more. Meaning that it's even harder. That's why it's a bad news. <laughs> you might be wondering, um, since you that this has got two reactions, but what reaction? What's the first reaction for this? Light? Light dependent reactions. The other one? Okay, or the Kelvin cycle. So light response curve is actually explaining which, which bit? The second one? The second one? The second one, yeah. Your light response curve. Which part of photosynthesis is explaining? Mana? Mana? First one. Actually, it's like explaining both. Yeah. 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 It's explaining both the light dependent reactions involving photosystem as well as the Kelvin cycle for the first part. The fixation part. Okay? That's why light curve is a very popular tool. The moment you get this, you can somewhat explain the general photosynthesis. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Or otherwise? Yeah. For CO2 response curve, which we are not covering today, it's actually not really touching on the actual light dependent reactions but rather indirectly yeah so co2 response curve 80 percent of it used to describe the kelvin cycle okay how how it responses and how it regenerates the cycle just that for now okay so let's go to the machine okay Number one, you need to warm up the machine. That's for sure. Okay. After you have warm up, you need to acclimate the leaf. Okay. So um, since we've got three machines, maybe um, you can join whatever machine that you want and use the um, manual that I've given to you. Okay. Warm up the machine first. 
after it has warm up then we will move um, to to acclimate the the leaf we need to be able to id which leaf as well that we want as you can see now we've got um actually i can turn on the light because you need that we've got um can you put um try some factory over here how how old is this plant 20 24 okay so common question that we usually get when doing light curve what age should you be doing your light curve on the plant i would suggest not when the flower already blooming the flower can be budding that's fine but the moment it has bloomed the moment fertilization has taken place you do light curve very likely the light curve is underestimated because all the food now go to the baby okay so like now do you see any flower what about this here the fruit <laughs> have you any that yeah. so this is rather old rather old okay so the best time is actually about a week before this tapi no macam ni sebab si apa ah si for pula sebab okra ni laju sangat okay yeah Okay, now um, warm up the machine. The setting that I want you to use now is um, depending on you want to use okra or ni. Um, I think both boleh guna light and summer. So let's let's put the the setting here. So CO two um, because we want it to be definite. Put the CO two uh, to four hundred fifty ppm, and so the temperature. Uh, if you compare the air temperature, put it as um, 30 degree and the light. Okay, one thing about light curve, when you want to do it, start from the final point. Then you go backward all the way down. Not from this way to that. No, that's wrong. Start with the highest light curve. Light, light, uh, uh, light, light point. I think in the, um, in the manual it says, if you are dealing with C three plants, use fifteen hundred of light value. If you are dealing with C four plants, use two thousand. Are you saying anywhere in there? Yeah. So use fifteen hundred. And what else do we set? Stomata, I think uh, for safety, just use uh, 0 0.5. Right? Um, huh? Oh, RH. Okay, good. RH. RH, we give it a range 55% to 70%. Yeah. Um, this is actually more relevant for 6400 because you can't really control it. But for 6300, um, I suggest you make it a 60%. For CT hundred, okay, right on the flow, flow because kita nak cepat for sixty four hundred, sixty eight hundred, uh, sixty four hundred. Let the flow become um, I think five hundred is fine. This just six hundred. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we've got a few here. Yeah? One, two, three. Four, five, six, oh, seven. Uh, fan. Fan, uh, 6400. Uh, fast. I think the speed is five. For 6800, um, it's RPM. That should be 10,000 RPM. Okay. Uh, go, set. Pick your machine, pick your machine. This is regardless of the plan that you're going to choose later. Just use this setting. This CO2 is CO2R, okay? CO2R. Some of you join lah, Encik Elmi. Tak payahlah pergi semut dulu kat gula satu tu. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
Ya ya. Ha? Target? Ha target ni. Ah 450. Ya, 450. Ya ya. Kita tukar, tukar 450. Sebab nak bagi kurs tu nampak cantik lagi. Ha, nyawa tak ada dah. Ya. Dia, dia, dia tak lawan ni tu okey lah uh, Set lah semua tu uh, Like benda semua Since dia dah on tripod mungkin group group ni boleh guna ni lah kot Ambil ini ke? Haa nanti warm up dulu then we will pick um, leaf Which leaf you you need to use? Tissue! Tiga ke lima? Ikut nak nak tengok um, Mana tissue? Huh? Hang? Kenapa hang? Ya nah. Sekarang pun tak nak lah Sekarang pun tak nak lah Oh Saya nak tahu off Eh guna direct ni tak tahu Buat masalah direct ni Bateri connect tak? Bateri connect lah Guna bateri ni okey pula dia Hmm Tutup je lah Dia hang tu Tutup je Tak boleh tekan pun dia macam, dia nak kaya tau Haa, ah, situ je Hmm, tu lah Ada satu lagi modul ni, AC modul Kalau tak ada kotak hitam, guna ni AC modul Which, lagi elok lah sebab lagi ringan Yang ni, connect to power, apa power adapter Terus ke Haa, uh, dia bateri mak, tapi bateri yang boleh 3, 3 minit Battery slash power box <laughs> Sebab nak power voltage Dia kalau voltage tak ni Senang fuse blur lah tahu itu fuse blur banyak Sebab bateri mardi Dia bagi tu Dah discharge 10 tahun Lepas tu dia pun tak beritahu kat aku Lepas tu dia pun macam PAM Sebab ada spare part dalam ni Tak apa sebab hari tu pun Dia orang tak jumpa Charger kat mana sebab tak pernah guna, memang tak pernah guna sebab dalam tu kan habuk je dalam dalam ni tu lah macam orang semangat ni yes, yes, yes tu pun sebab nasib baik senang lebih bagi pinjam is it okay? Ah, ah boleh? Ah, saya set, set kan, set kan ikutlah setting yang aku tulis ni Um, you need to pick the plant first. Um, if you're done, come over here untuk pick your plant. Which one do you want? You want okra or you want this? Macam mana pilih? Do you still remember? No, you need to decide. What do you need to decide? The phylotaxis. Yes, what kind of phylotaxis is this plant? First, bila dapat pokok, ingat dulu pokok tu punya phylotaxis. File taxi means what? Leaf arrangement. So what kind of file taxi is this? Kabut. <laughs> alternate lah. Macam tu. Dia alternate. Maksudnya dia macam ni. Kalau alternate. So it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Alternate. So kalau alternate, you need to Nombor satu yang ni jangan kira From number <coughs> three to number five 
from the top. One, two, three. Check for this. Look at the size. Is it fully expanded? So, ni kan? Ni yang kira. Why, why, why don't you come this? Sebab ini kita tak boleh tahu sebagai primordia. Lift primordia. Okay. So, kita, kita yang ini, ni the first level. Eh, ni first level. Mana? Ah, ni first level. This is first level. Second level. Third level. This guy. So, kind of okay. Yep. Sebab apa tu okay? Sebab Sebab dia tak macam padi. Sebab aku makan perosak ni. Cacat tak nak makan. Tak nak makan ni. Oh, you see semua Kena makan perosak. Ni apa? Kenapa? Botak. Jangan kira. Jangan kira. Jangan kira. Jangan kira. Ambil, ambil yang um, ini. Level 1. Level 2. Level 3. Hmm. Eh, dua. Nanti ya. So, kena tahu macam mana nak tahu daun untuk spesies tu dah fully expanded. Macam rice senang sebab dia ada collar. Without the collar, kita tahu dia tak habis expand lagi. Untuk daun macam ni, macam nak tahu dia dah habis expanded ke tak? How do you know? Caranya adalah kalau tak tahu dan kau pun lupa, degil aku cakap suruh cik awal tak nak cik awal. Pergi mana nak pokok, ambil daun yang paling bawah sekali. Macam ni kan? Cuba tengok daun paling bawah ni. Dia, 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 maksudnya dia dah fully expanded. Look at the characteristic. Kena ada stalk. Okay. Kena ada stalk. Lepas tu, any, any features yang dia ada? And then you compare with the leaf that you want to take. Kalau nampak features tu semua dah ada sama. Yang ni ada urat macam tu, itu pada urat macam tu. Then this is fully expanded. Okay. So bulan ni lah. Ah, takut lupa. Aku makin lah siap-siap. Macam tu. Ah, pick a pit. Go, go, go. Siapa lagi nak guna ni? Do you have other tray? Is it okay untuk guna daun rosak? Boleh guna daun rosak tu. Tapi, the bit that get clamped tak boleh pecah. Okay. Kalau macam kata ni kan koyak kan. Eh macam ni boleh guna? Boleh. Boleh. Tapi yang teruk-teruk macam ni jangan. So guna di the other side. Sebab apa? Sebab daun yang dah berlubang dia dah terganggu tekanan dalam daun tu. Kau ingat kosongan dia dah tinggi. Pokok pun ada blood pressure juga. So bila dia dah macam tu dia dah tak vacuum. Pressure dia dah keluar. So kita pergi kat belah yang tak dipecah lagi. Betul? Okay, that's for the pak choy. Pak choy ke choy sam? Choy sam. Um, now, somebody. Siapa nak buat um, SOP memilih daun untuk okra? Ashfan, kau pilih. Ikut, apa benda? Ha, Merulah kenapa? Tahu apa? Tahu apa? Panggil apa? Fire taxi. Taxi mana? Grab. Ha. Ha. Lepas tu? Apa fire taxi? How many fire taxi ada? Kau belajar tak buat ni? Ada tu? Apa fire taxi? How many fire taxi yang ada? Ni. Pusa. Eh, cepat lah. Ah, pilih macam mana? Apa? Apa kali tak sini macam tu? Alternate. Kenapa alternate? Dia bersilang silang. Betul. Bersilang silang. Okey. Lepas tu kena buat apa? Yang daun. 
Daun kertas apa? Boleh tak aku nak pilih daun ni? Tak boleh. Kenapa tak boleh? Sebab dia berapa berapa semua. So kau panggil apa? Hmm, tak sampai lima jam aku cakap. Ni ni tengah ni yang bawah peluang ni. Ni ni bawah peluang tengah ni. Kenapa tak boleh ambil? Why do you, what do you call it? <sighs> Leave pre more sebab tu satu singular lah leaf primordium kalau dia ni pre pas uh, plural primordia sebab tu so jangan ambil yang tu so mula kira yang ni sebab dah ada bentuk dah ha lepas tu kira lepas tu lepas tu tiga ha dia antara tiga ke lima. Boleh. Nombor tiga ni boleh guna tak? Boleh. Kenapa? Sebab dah sedih. Macam mana kau tahu dia boleh expand je? Sebab dia ni dia macam tak. Dia sama dengan dengan empat. Dia sama dengan empat. Lebih kurang. Sama kan? Yes. Boleh guna. Lepas tu? Tahun ni besar ni. Nak ambil belah mana? Apa bentuk tahun ni? Leaf morphology nombor dua. Leaf shape. Tadi yang nampak coy ni bentuk dia macam itulah. Ah. Yang si okra ni bentuk dia macam buruk yang lukis aku. Macam itulah. Bentuk, bentuk apa ni? Pam ataupun Lop Tahu lop ke apa? Lop lah macam cuming So nak ambil satu Nombor satu Jangan ambil yang Vein tu So sini jangan, bahagian ni jangan Sebab ada ada vein keras ni Kau dah rasa bawah tu So pilih lop yang cukup besar Dan ambil yang di tengah-tengah lop Ni, nampak lembut ni. Ya, yeah. so kat tang ni boleh kapit, tang ni boleh kapit, tang ni boleh kapit. Boleh. 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 Whatever it is, bagusnya okra ni. Kau nampak tak warna merah ni? Warna merah ni. Ah, uh, Itu namanya no-no zone. Okay. So, keluar daripada tu kau boleh ambil. Sebab ada urat keras. Jangan. Nanti urat keras uh, mes, uh, dia boleh leakage. Sebab of the protruding vein. Ini tak ada masalah. Ini tak ada urat, urat keras. Kan? Okay. Uh, ada vein dia yang ada dua loop je. So whatever yang kalau ada loop, basically macam ni lah. Jangan ambil yang bawah ni. Better ambil yang ni je. So kalau macam ni, kalau nak ambil yang ni boleh. Nak ambil yang tu boleh. Boleh je. Kalau tiga kau rasa tak nak, nak ambil empat boleh. Sebab dalam metrometer, you will say three to five from the top. Okay? Nah, so, pilih. Aduh, apa kibat, 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 kibat. Now, you need to acclimate. Okay? Method dia adalah, number one, you need to acclimate. Acclimate to what? To all this condition dah yang ada sehari tu. It, this will take a while. So, kapit, kapit cepat. Go, go, go. Pick your plants. Now clamp your leaf. Move lah dekat situ. Ni bukan pam ni. Ni sebenarnya benda palmet. Nama penuh dia. Aku panggil je pam. Nama penuh dia palmit. Palmit ataupun um, bercuping. Kalau dia macam yang pam tu kan. Itu tak panggil. Palmit itu panggil front. Oh, dia ada lagi yang dia ada lifted. Oh, uh, itu itu um, kecil, 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 kecil macam tu. Ya. Yang ini kita panggil dia pinet. 
Ha dah? Ha kapit, kapit. Um, ambil tisu, lap dulu daun tu. Jangan daun, whatever that you clamp into the machine, it must be bone dry. So, in your hand, you must got tissue, dab it, then only you clamp. Dab both the underside and upper side of the leaf. Okay. Then you only you clamp. Once you clamp, let the leaf grow. Oh, not grow. Acclimate in this situation. Okay. Alright. Atu boleh sekejap. Tekan lah. Spare bracket. Oi, permanent. Tak boleh badam. Yang dulu ni. Kita buka aku punya lah. Siapa punya. Tak boleh buka jam hijau lah Tak bawa pula aku hold tu. Ini ada lah kan? Ni, eh, mana hilang pula suruh dia pergi ambil aku hold. Kenapa? Dia tak naik. Dia tak naik tu, dia busted lah tu. Kau tak dapat? Apa? Sebab banyak tak ring dah. Oh. Ah. Okay. Kita nak acclimation. Tengok, kalau aku tak pesan, kan mesti seorang pun tak buat. Nobody match the agar. Mesti terus clamp leaf. <laughs> match tak? Match lah dulu. Benda tu pasti dia biasa agar kan. Ah. Dia, dia eloknya match masa daun tak ada. Ah, buka kejap. Kejap ni. Ah. Di error nanti, saya boleh ambil masa sekejap. Dia patutnya, dia kau nak bagi tahu mesin tu. Uh, tengah sama. Tengok. Uh, tengok, sebab sebab baru buka tu, uh, tak mungkin sekejap. Uh, bagi dia 450, 450. Ni dah stabil kan? Bagi dia averaging sekejap. Kalau dia, dia tak keluar warning, dia tak keluar apa tu, notification leak. Okey lah. Sebelum kita buat tu, dia masih nak buat match TV buat. Mula-mula, mula-mula. Dah lepas saya tersinggung. Dah, 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 tak payah. Oh. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. 
aku kena lap dulu make sure dia tak basah tapi then clip pergi lah square bracket untuk tengok benda ni acclimation uh, curve ni ok so let's say that you have climbed the lift have you climbed the lift tu kenapa lagi tu tinggi sangat tu siram tak make sure pokok siram sikit air siram ni dari siram sikit air dari sebab benda ni intensif dia akan cepat trans transpire. Ah uh, tekan square bracket. Okey. 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 Nak dia ah uh, acclimatize dulu. Oh. Area tu tak payah tukar kan? Oh. Ada tulis ke yang dia full? Tengok, cuba tengok uh... Dua Okay, now that you have climbed your leaf um, Look at here How to know that your leaf is acclimated? The leaf must be acclimated Otherwise you cannot start the light curve under the auto prop number one uh, for the cc400 press the square bracket so that this will come out for the cc800 that would be under the measurement tab fine press i think press number no press a so you get this both okay um number one look at the assimilation okay so the assimilation, the absolute difference between the top value and the bottom value, um, it's around two or three absolute difference. For example, the top value can be 10, the bottom value can be 7. So 10 minus 7, the absolute difference is 3, meaning that it is stable, the assimilation is stable. However, if the top is 10, suddenly the bottom is 5, the absolute difference is 5, you need to wait because it, it's still acclimating. Okay. Then look at the GS value. Okay. For the GS value, um, look at the trend of the curve. If it's going down, stomata are closing. If it's going up, stomata are still opening. If it's somewhat go wiggly this way, meaning that it is stable. Okay. Um, for 6800, um, you need to go to this uh, measurement tab. Why? Okay. <laughs> Um, tapi tengok ni dua ni absolute value ah dah dua dah ok lah ni dah kurangnya stable dua lah ni lebih kurang stable dah Um, reasonable to show to do that. But um, so, what about what about other way? We should all uh, yeah. yes. yeah. uh, all uh, yeah. the yeah. I down to zero. We should all ask. So 
Saya minta. Oh, duduk naik. Eh, tunggu. Ya, ada, ada benda tak? Kan? Kalau kat luar, saya cepat. Dia sebab dalam ni. Tak apa. Dia kira absolute difference saja. Hmm. Sebab di mata kita nampak macam tengah tu. Tapi dia punya absolute dia tak banyak. So, maksudnya, tukarannya hanya lah 0.8 je. So, maksudnya bodoh lah. Ya. Yeah. Okey, kalau dah macam ni, uh, dia dah okey. Tuk tengok ni je. 4 dengan 8, 4. Ah, tu kejap. Tu kejap. Tu kejap. Dia tengah naik ni. Nampak tu. 45 degree kot. Dia punya tu. So, so. Ha? Yes, yes. CO2 tadi bukan dia dah semakin dah kurang tak? degree. Tadi. Oh, dah. Dah. Boleh dah pergi. Ya. Yeah. Macam ni kan tengok dia dah makin kurang. Tadi kan dia lebih steep, lebih condong. Tadi lift tu macam pecah. Now, less, uh, whatever it is okay. must be less than 45. Oh. Otherwise, uh, complete masalah. Macam ni kan, 9, 9 atau 6. Kita nak cepatkan slow tu. Tapi kalau buat tu, So, pokok ni tengah uh, tengah uh, kemis tengah asal balas kejap. Tunggu kejap. Kalau perlu lagi lagi nampak ada naik. Sebab dia uh, kering kan. Uh. Oh, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, ini dengan pokok. Sebab tu masa aku buat benda oh, ni, ya, kan aku pasang pokok ni di bawah. Jadi jangan ha, ya. Sebab kita tak nak bagi pokok tidur. Ambil lampu LED, letak ni bawah lampu LED tu. Ni kau ada chamber ni kan? Pokok letak bawah chamber, jangan bagi pokok tu tidur. Hmm. Sebab kalau tidur dia nak kena bangun baliklah ni. Ha ah. Tapi satu hal lah, dia nak bangun. Ah, ni tak ni, ah, ni tak buat dia tak climate lagi. So cara untuk bagi pokok tak tidur supaya kau tak buang masa lama untuk bangunkan dia is for you to either letak kat luar dan immediately bawa ke dalam untuk buat measurement ataupun place it under LED. Ya, yeah, place it under LED. Bukan ada ke lampu ajaib aku dalam tu? Warna merah. Warna merah tu, lampu UFO aku tu. Tu kau tak nak nampak? <laughs> ada lah lampu aku lubang bulat aku tu. So, 12 minus 5. Eh, 12 minus 5. 12 minus 7, 5. Ah, tak boleh, tunggu sekejap. But that's very interesting lah pokok ni kan. Sangat capable. Dah siram mana tadi kan? Okay. Just, just wait for a bit. Um, how is it? Tak naik. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Kita cuci ni lah maksudnya RH lagi cepat ke sengaja lah. Sebab semua dah merawak. Nah, kita tengok. Kita tengok masalah. So, kalau jadi macam ni kan, kau nak, kau nak kena macam trick machine ni sikit sebenarnya. Yeah. Tak buat ni, kenapa? <laughs> Semua orang nak takut. Ah, so, ini sikit je. Dia ada dua partition kan? Ah, tak dalam macam tu. Each tool tak dua sebab ni memang begitu kering ni. Ah, tutup tu goncang. Kita kena goncang tau. Every time kau buat apa-apa, kau kena goncang ni. Memang sampai sini ke ni. Okay, kalau dah macam tu, ah, macam ni kau tuang banyak sikit tak apa. Tapi still jangan sampai jadi aquarium. Tuang sampai agak-agak dia dah 
bergerak sampai ke situ stop. Tak ni. Ah tuan. Ah stop. Pak, apa kan? Tadi kan. Ah, kau buat kali buat belah ni pula. Oi tu apa? Ha. Bang sampai nampak air tu bergerak sampai sini stop. Eh, apa pasal? Ah tu. Dah. Ah, tutup. Kuncang. Boh ni. Bukan bobo, macam kau nak beli limo dalam tu. Bukan nak, kau nak bagi estimate benda ni. Ah, uh, okey, dah okey kan? Uh-huh. Yang ini pun macam Is it proper limo? Hmm. Kind of macam betul je. Ini kosong point tu kosong nak. Ah, boleh lah tu. Boleh lah tu. Sebab benda ni penting sebenarnya. Dan ini asalkan dia tak menjunam. So, keluar dari sini, pergi ke auto prop. Ah, ah, sini. While waiting for yours to, to, to happen. Now that uh, it has um, estimated, the difference is 21 minus 18 to equals 3. So, dah boleh. Yang ini pun dia dah macam, um, ah, boleh lah tu. At least dia tak menjunam. Okay. Exit this. Now you need to go to auto prop. Auto prop dia adalah ah 5 5 lepas tu F1 ah tekan lah ah ah pilih nak buat apa mana pilih 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 ikut kan ada nota tu bagi tu ikutlah macam ada nota tu manual tu dah ada ke tak nampak kau nak kan kau rosak ah jangan dok 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 bagat tinggal sangat mari sini pusing Ha tu? Tajo. Maybe somebody dah set tu. I I think I don't want is fine. Masuk? Masuk nama ni kan? Ah, begini. Okey. Ah, okey. Hari ni date. Send it to name the file. Sebab aku hilang. Hilang kau dia. Lepas tu cakap je. Pergi lah ambil benda tu. Dah? Dah. Okay. Enter. Ha, enter. Enter. Ah, ha, sabar. Lepas tu dia tanya apa? Enter. Eh kejap. Kenapa dia tak tanya soalan? Dia tak tanya ni. From... No, 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 no. You need to tell um, the point of uh, photon apa tu, PPFD. Go back, boleh, go back, 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 back. <laughs> so, sini. Summary. Ah, uh, tengok waiting time. Ah, uh, tu kalau waiting time tu. Ikut macam tu. Itu cepat sangat tu. Tu kau. Minimum second dia tunggu sebelum dia um, buat decision untuk pergi next data point. Pokok ni responsif so tak apa. Pokok terapi kau lah tak apa. Ikut satu dua. Dalam hmm. Tapi kita bagi dia decision juga Kalau um, can lock early If steady, yes Ah, dia ada dia ada Apa? Ah. Lamanya 120 second kan? Minimum tu Macam berapa jam? 60 saat je lah <laughs> Minimum tu 60 saat Maximum 120 Okay, and then what else? Okay, sekarang ni dia, dia bagi suruh tukar, boleh tukar tak? Uh, the the light point. Uh, uh, tukar, tukar light point tu. Remember, 
start the light point with the okay. light acclimation that you use. Set point, right? Yeah, set point. Sembilan kan? Ah, tukar. Tukar dia punya tu. So, dia start. Zero, hundred. Ah, salah. Siapa yang buat sebelum ni memang salah. Tak boleh start dengan kosong. Let's start. Tinggi, tinggi dulu. dulu. So, make it uh, 1500. No, no, no. Kau tak kau tak confirm lagi DC4. Kau tak confirm lagi DC4. 1500 je. You use 1500 because that is the acclimation that you use. So, go down by 200. So, 1500. 1300. 1100. Lagi apa? Ah. Tolak. Ah, tolak, tolak, tolak. 400 eh 400 ya 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 100 100 um, uh, 50 0 uh, yang hujung tu lain sikit tau hujung tu bukan ni lah 50 0 kalau ikut yang betul C3 sebenarnya tak tak boleh kosong tapi tak pakai dia buat dia kosong tengok dia apa at least you get the dark restriction tu ok tak ada ok uh, So boleh nak boleh tengok dia punya curve tu dekat dalam tu and then you can change this to apa macam guru aku sebenarnya dia sudah buruk dia. Um is it ni? Tak ingatlah guru aku. Dari 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 say dalam tu. Ni kau lah. Aku tengok apa jadi dengan dia. How is it? Eh, kenapa dapat turun ni? Okay, kita rendahkan sikit temperature. Kita sikit temperature. Sekejap. Somebody tiup kat sini. Tengok dia bocor tak? No, no tak bocor. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The problem is because I was away for three minutes. <laughs> Struggling now. Um, naik ke suhu. Ke suhu Arif. Okay, it's it's. It's struggling to increase. Let's see what seems to be. Eh, apa nak buat ni? Um, let's put the temperature back to the peak. Okay, kau nampak ya. Eh? Walaupun kau set 30, exchange sebenarnya tinggi dah. 39. So, kita kena uh, paksa mesin ni untuk turunkan suhu blok ni. 
Sekarang ni kau set suhu TL hmm. Suhu angin Dalam ni Now kita nampak sekarang suhu exchange tu 40 hmm. So kena bagi arah kat mesin ni Kau tu mari turun kejap Kita ganti tu Exchange tu yang ni lah Ah ya yeah. semua ni lah Block, block ni dalam, dalam sisi 400 dia panggil uh, block Kita tengok body tu kan Sebab dia macam ni, kalau benda ni tak turun, benda ni memang susah nak, nak ikut Okay, mari kita tengok apa jadi dengan RH 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 Sebab tu walaupun kau dalam tap air, hmm. suhu masih dia tunjuk Sebab benda ni kind of control benda tu Resipan flow, let's see kita ya. Mari kita tengok resipan mili fire. Temperature tu dah okay dah Okay kan? Ah, tukar balik je dari PA tu 30 So dia tak ada struggle sangat Okay now is the RH ni Naikkan dia balik 20 Kalau so, dalam ni baru tukar ke? Hmm. Dia masih tak Sisi Room Unit 2 Kau cuba kejap dulu tu How's your plan? Kalau dah Dah klimat tu Dah buat auto prop lah benda tu Kalau dah klimat Okay, dia nampak seperti degil Dia nampak seperti degil Mari buat sesuatu Sekejap Kau dapat mesh ago belum? That shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll do it. Six. Five. Sekarang kita tengah fokus tengok ni H, H2O ni Ini yang datang daripada konsol ni Daripada sini Maksudnya chamber tu lagi tinggi hmm. Nampak ni? Air ni Patut ini benda ni naik ni Dah lah aku, aku naikkan slow dia seribu kan Nampak dia dekat 4.5 ya Tengok sikit apa graf untuk R ni Jadi uh, ni eh, air So 4 minit yang lalu Lagi dia tengok Dua minit yang lalu H2OR Air tu tak sampai So Nampaknya seperti benda tu yang ada masalah Kita off sekejap Kita off sekejap On balik Okay, macam ni um, 
ni kan tengok ni empat, empat something kan bacaan dia so kita cuba nak manual match kejap 5.2 so kita kau boleh manual match kat sini so jadikan dia 5.2 alright kan sikit Ma macam macam tu share dia kan degil kan saya tak dengar kan so aku paksa blok ni turun dulu so mari kita tengok dia naik tak sekarang aku dah set tadi tengok dia naik 5.2 nak bagi matching ni Um, tengok bekas sodangan yang korang guna bekas tu tengok bekas tu ok should be a problem sebab dia memang memang wet hmm, makin turun benda ni sekejap ya Apa nak buat bila benda adalah degil? Dia agak degil lah sebenarnya. Alright. Uh, another thing boleh buat adalah masukkan sikit jari dia. Let's see. Is that the, is that the topic? Satu sudu kiri, satu sudu kanan. Yep. Untuk benda ni. Kocang-kocang kan? Lepas tu kita tengok di punya ni Adakah ada benda menghalau? Tengok pula benda ni adakah benda menghalau? Itulah dia uh, karat Nampak ni nampak benda bersih Saya tak ada masalah Itu kenapa ni teruk sangat ni? boleh jadi dengan pokok budak-budak ni. Mesin tu dah running lah, auto prop. Nah. Macam dia tak kan? Tengok lagi berapa point. Uh, keluar square bracket tu, boleh kita boleh tahu dia dalam berapa point. Keluar square bracket tu. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Tekan satu. Ah. Uh. Lock sepuluh. Eh, ah. Uh, uh, dia... Hmm, dah habis lah kot Haa, oh, dah, dah siap Ni, mesin kau dah siap Mana? Haa? Ha? Dah kosong? Dah tutup dah, dah tutup dah, ha, dah tutup So dah tutup, uh, boleh Pas pun datang, mana nak mana ni Lagi dia, tu mesin, mesin dia kan Oh, oh, oh um, Let's Let's, let's um, You want to know whether this is C4 or not? I want to story benda tu sebenarnya. Tapi tak apalah. Uh, buat benda tu. Buat benda tu. <laughs> so, um, dah siap. Dah siap. Uh, boleh keluarkan data lah. Keluarkan data. Aku tunjuk macam, macam mana nak buat dengan data tu. Senang ya kan? Macam cari tu lah. Ya, ya. Keluarkan, keluarkan data ni. So, dia dah, dia dah login data point banyak lah tu. Yes. Jadi macam ni sebab kita ambil terbalik So kalau tengok macam ni um. Okay, okay um. Uh, um. So um. Kalau nak buat CO2 response curve Bila dah jadi kosong aja, Patah balik cahaya tu macam pasal Tolong balik cahaya tu. Sebab pokok ni tengah tak ada cahaya. Nanti dia dia tidur. Ha. Uh, bangunkan balik cahaya. So? Tak ni ni. Uh, dia tengah kelam pokok lah. Aku rasa kena buat uh, warm up balik. Dah sekolik. Warm up balik. Um, apa? Tadi I think dah set to 
Position dia waktu itu itu Oh, itu 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 Yo, ayo ni. Ibu tak naik. Okey, ibu boleh je naik. Oh, dia turun. So, oh, tengah desikal. Uh, oh, desikal. Dia naik, turun, naik, turun, naik, turun. Tu so, punya dia kaya. Ha, ni dia naik lagi sebab. So, boleh je air tu naik. Tu hmm. so, kenapa <laughs> macam struggle sangat kau punya ni. Sekejap. <laughs> Hmm. Is similar to editing ambient. Okay. Um. Previous test pass test four. Tak ada fail, tapi ada pak warning. Oh, so nice. Hmm. Tengah. Okay. Sis dia dah boleh. Mari kita bangun balik balik. Ya, ini benda yang naik sekarang. Naik, 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 naik. So, graph kita nak H2O reference tu. Kita naik. Biar tak? Eh, kita nak naik. Dia macam tu macam ni. Memang, 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 macam tu. Walaupun dia canggih ke mana pun, dia tetap missing. This is what we want. Um, the reference kind of go up. The sample kind of a bit down. Yeah, yeah. So, so minimal ni semua, bila kau klik tu yang akan bagi effect kat R-H. Yeah. Hmm. Tapi ingat tak sebab tadi aku tukar seribu Patutnya nanti kena tukar balik Jadi enam enam ratus Okay, let's see Masuk lagi, masuk lagi Masuk lagi Masuk lagi tukar balik kan? Yes, flow tu kena tukar balik um, RH ni memang dah hafiz Saya nak tu, so that, that, that's fine Ya, yeah, sebelah so benda Fine Tadi dia macam stop around berapa eh? Tak ada tak naik, macam tak naik. Did you have this problem as a testing? Temperature? Is there a problem? No? Temperature okay? Hmm. Ya, hmm. Ya, ya. Um, buka kejap ni. Mari kita tengok tubing dia. Masalah tubing dia. Tak ada apa-apa, ada benda mengganggu dia kan? Tapi kan bila kau gerak-gerak tu, air tu naik. Kena bocor. Kemet tak apa, dia jangan sampai crack. Okay, 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 ok
Tapi so far Dia Dia Um, macam ni Apa kata ambil ni uh, Buat dekat luar sekejap Bagi dia dapat udara luar sekejap Tapi pintu tu lah Keluar-keluar pintu tu je <tuh> Sebab dalam ni aircon kering Macam tu juga Tapi dalam bentuk Ya, yeah. ah, korang tunggu kat sini sekejap <laughs> Kesian aku buat cerita dekat luar. <laughs> Aduk kejap situ. Tu 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 minum. Kau kau bis. Okey, um so dah dapat data ni, boleh transfer. Sebenarnya uh, lepas dah transfer tu uh, lampu dah buka ke? Dah. Dah dah. Okey, sebenarnya lepas dah buka, dah dapat data tu, itu tu pulang tu dah nak buat tu kan masalah kau dah. Ha. Uh. Uh, um tapi aku just nak tunjuk quickly macam mana nak buat response ke CO2. Oh. Dia yeah. punya betul-betul start dengan yang lain atas ke? Ah, ya CO2 ni dia lain sikit. Mana orang? Ha. Nombor satu kena acclimate macam tu juga. Bagi dia kat sini, mana lah? Ya, ya. Sama je. Kita dia. Dia macam 2, 3. Dah ada angkatan dia. Eh, aku nak tutup ni. Minta tu lah. Um, lampu sini tu lah. Ya, yeah, sama je. Um, so, mana? So nampak semua stabil sebab kita pakai uh, reading tadi tu Kalau nak buat CO2 curve uh, Sama juga, acclimatekan dulu Tengok graph tu stabil and everything Lepas tu pergi ke autoproc terus untuk buat uh, CI Cuma CI ni dia punya susunan susunan uh, point tu Dia kena macam ni, mana maka tu? Uh, untuk ACI dia kau kena start, itu 450 kan? 450 Kau kena pergi ke bawah lepas tu naik ke atas 300 um, 100 100 50 Kosong Lepas tu naik balik um, 50 100 300 500 Uh, 700 Nampak uh, tu lah 1000 uh, uh, 1200 1200 1200 dah senang Haa senang Haa takat tu Eh tak uh, Aku tak nak pergi tinggi sangat sebab uh, Itu cartridge tak takut terpati Dia boleh sampai 2000 lebih sebenarnya Tapi takat ni cukup lah Ya yeah, cukup sangat je So ingat ya 450 ni sebab ini adalah reading yang kau acclimate dia Dia bukan macam cahaya, cahaya daripada atas turun ke bawah siap CO2 respond bukan macam tu Daripada point kau acclimate turun ke kosong naik balik Naik balik, puk sampai ke sini Ya, yeah. ok jap ada benda tertinggal Bukan, ni bukan 500 sebenarnya, 450 Dia kena sama balik Sebab ni, yang sama. Maksudnya, dia ada dua point yang sama. So, ada berapa point ni? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh, sebelah, dua, tiga, belah. Ah, lagi banyak ah. Kau tak cakap lagi Ah, boleh lah. Cuba buat autoprog tu. Pergi autoprog, lepas tu buat uh, circle. Ah, lambat. <laughs> Habis. <laughs> Lima, 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 autoprop Lepas tu pergi ke CO2 response ke Atas ke bawah CO2 curve multiple light uh, Ambil je lah CO2 curve tu Bawah Ikan ada ACI tu, ACI tu Ya, ada. Ha. 
Ha. So bagi je sama macam tu. Uh, tak ada tarikh kot. Kang kau tak tahu a uh, the time kau tu. Oh. Ah, sama lah. CI tu CO2 intersonal lah. Tak, uh, kalau orang buat tu sebab dia tengah multiple light. Maksudnya ada experiment something ke apa. Tak ada. Ha. Okay. Uh, yang ini. Semua pasal dia. Menanya kan. Benda kena dapat di sini. Sebab I might press it. Ya ya. Li 6400 O2 Response Curve Jap, 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 jap Tengok ni, tengok ni Tengok ni So ini kita dah buat, ini kita dah buat Tadi kau dah buat sampai kat situ kan? Ah ni, benda ni matching ni. Ah benda ni yang penting ni. Benda matching ni. So ikut balik benda ni salin ke dalam ke dalam benda tu. Ambil dah komputer ni. Okay, tengok. Go, 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 go. I need to see what happens to them. Apa jadi? Tak naik tak? <laughs> Dia naik tapi terlalu perlahat. 4.0 Okay, kalau dah 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 degil macam ni, macam ni lah. Dia ada dua reason. Kadang-kadang itu adalah petanda. Dia ni nak kena update blue stamp dia. Dia punya software. Uh, to be certain, kita start balik benda ni, warm up pada awak Uh, tutup. Tutupnya. Go off. Tutup semua ni. Uh, bagi dia completely padam. Tutup dia punya. Dia off sendiri kan? So. So kejap. Miss Manage macam tu ke? Lepas tu. Tak payah. Tak payah. Tak payah. Tak payah. Tak payah. Benda macam ni kadang-kadang boleh jadi kalau tengah-tengah kau buat benda, kau pergi tukar chemical. Selalu tak jadi tapi dia boleh jadi. It's known to happen. Ah, on kalau, kalau tukar selalunya, uh, selalunya kalau tukar, kita akan buat benda tu sebelum warm up. Hmm. Hmm. Sebelum warm up. Bukan dah warm up, kita buat tu mm, boleh jadi problem lah. Tak apa, uh, turn on je. Kalau ada problem masalah, um, kena tengok blue stamp tu. Update tak? Ha ini kau uh, kurang warm up biasa je lah. Make sure tutup dah. Ha uh, jangan buka. Dah set? Dia tak keluar ni Mesmatch Delta CO2 Oh, ke bahagian lain? Tapi tadi mesin tu ada Mesin tadi ada? Mesin tu tak ada Hahaha Tak apa kot sebab Ada apa ni? Ada benda ni dah Dia kan match Ya 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 Ni standard stability ni Oh Match um, Bukan ever ya Always Ah uh, tu Ah uh, set ikut tu Ok 
kat sini um, so match always um step for the Oh no 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 no. Tak ada lain. Pasal ni sama ke dia macam macam. Minimum wait time maximum. Ini mana tadi? Yang ni ke tadi? Ni tadi. When ask ke ni sisi 100. Apa sisi? Sponsor lah. Kan. Sponsor. Ah, go down balik. Um Jap jap jap. Pening kan tak mesin? Macam, kenapa lah kau hidup kau macam ni? Patutnya ada kat sini. Ke mesin kau yang tak update? Yang tu lebih update. Um. Kalau dia kasih tak dia tak tahu Match if No, benda ni sebenarnya ada dekat Untuk digital value when ask minimum wait time satu so disuruh kan Okay, minimum wait time. Okay, I saw that Which is Eh, we home lah Dah lah, dah set dah tu Kalau apa lagi kan Stability, tapi ni stability sebenarnya. Oh, uh, KPI. No. Slope. Status. Okay. Um. I think tak ada dalam tu. Benda tu tak sama macam ni. Um, delta ni kena matchkan dia dari lepas seratus. Jangan tanya kenapa. Aku tak adjust no. <laughs> ada tu. Tak ada. Salah kau 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 kau. Tak salah. Kau nak buat yang tu satu? Buat lah. Go. Go. Pergi buat. Dah mak. Tak ada fail lagi kan? Shouldn't be a problem man. I don't see any. No? No? Yeah. Yeah. Siapa tengok nanti kat hujung uh, kalau ada error. Sepertinya, yang mikro dah baru kot. Should be error. Aku jatuh dalam pejak. Oh, jatuh. Apa demam apa? Ha? Uh, tak, uh, aku cuma risak balik. Sebab, kemikro, lepas dah warm up. Kemikro ni, kita nak tukar sebelum warm up. Bila kau tukar kemikro lepas warm up, dia, dia boleh buat panggil lah. Dia macam... Maksudnya, every time macam tu? Sebab, sebab tu jangan tukar chemical lepas kau dah warm up. Ha, tu ubatnya? Ha, reset sana je. Ya, tu je ubatnya. Hmm. Ha? 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 Apa tu? Apa tu? Apa tu? Sebab sebab dah hang yang gila. Apa tu? Ah, benar tak tak micro sebab dia tinggal kau. Itu tetap benda mengapi aku. Oh, apa sense me itu tak benda mengapi aku. <laughs> Boleh je dan Dua 
Tak tahu maka, 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 maka lagi satu. 30 okey eh? Kalau aku tak dulu, dulu dah tropika. Tropika, baik-baik 30 saja. Maksudnya every time kalau boleh tunggu dulu. Dia kan sebab dia ada pelter device, dia tipas minus 10. Okay. Sebab dia ada pelter device. Okay. Device. So kalau sekarang ni temperature kita 27, dia boleh pergi sampai 37, dia boleh pergi ke rendah sampai 17. Ya. Yeah. Kenapa yang kalau siapa ni dia kena macam ni kan? Kenapa? Terus ni terus turun pasal lain. Oh sebab kita nak stomata tu ada masa satu. So, one, antara reason ya. You want to betul-betul buka kan stomata. Sebab stomata akan buka bila CO2 limiting. Okay. So, you don't want stomata tertutup ketika benda ni tengah naik. Sebab the moment benda ni tinggi, CO2 concentration tinggi, stomata akan tutup habis-habisan. So sebelum dia tutup habis-habisan, kau pangkangkan dia habis-habisan. Ini adalah namanya fasa mengangkang. Betul lah boleh lihat buku lab atau aku tulis macam tu. So kau kangkangkan stomata tu supaya bila dia masuk fasa CO2 tinggi, mula 700 sampai 1500 ni dia tak completely tertutup. Ya, ya. Dan satu lagi sebab dia kita nak tengok boleh pakai tak bacaan 450 ni ke 450 ni ke ada discrepancy. Kalau pokok engkau tu memang uh, ada fast stomata control dan good assimilation control reading assimilation waktu 450 CO2 dengan dua ni akan jadi lebih kurang sama. Dia tak patut lari jauh. Kalau dia patut lari jauh, maksudnya kau perlu acclimate lama lagi. So mata tu tak habis buka lagi. Tu petanda dia. Contohnya lah, kalau ini kan kau dapat reading dia masa mula-mula. A dia kau dapat uh, 17. Eh, tapi bila sampai kat sini kan kau nampak A dia sama dengan 22. So kau tahu sebenarnya Benda ni tak habis aklimat lagi. Bila tak habis aklimat lagi, stomata dia tak habis kangkang lagi. Ha, kau nak dia terbuka macam-macam tu. Macam kira kau boleh beranak lah. <laughs> so, habis-habisan. Ya, tu sebab dia. Tapi dalam buku tak cakap macam tu. <laughs> <laughs> kalau tak, kalau bila sampai kat sini, stomata dia macam ni. Sejak bila CO2 rendah, dia akan buka lagi tu mana? Ya, yeah, yeah. okay, itu. Ada lima benda boleh buka stomata. Uh, stomata. Okay. Trick to open stomata. Satu, RH kena lebih besar daripada uh, 60. Uh, dua, uh, light intensity kena lebih besar dari eh ya aku aku terbalik macam ni macam ni 1000 micromol nombor 3 light color minimum 10% blue Nombor empat, CO2 kena bagi kurang daripada 400. 400. Paling elok kau bagi dia 200 and ppm and below. Nombor lima, siram. Tui untuk buka setengah matang. Ha? Apa ni? Saya baca ni apa? 400 ppm. Ah, kurang 400. Tu dua eloknya 200 oh. and below. Selagi dia tak kurang 400 sebenarnya, stomata tu tak habis buka. Ya, ya. Ya. So, 450 ni kita acclimate kan dia untuk longgarkan stomata. 
kan macam kau nak beranak kan uh, ada ke saya sakit pun keluar tu tak ada it takes time for the baby uh, apa untuk mak dia to be apa apa aku tahu terminologi tu um, fully effaced and dilated ha ah. so kalau aku nak beranak aku kena ada condition ni ah itu kita buat kat sini betul lah So yang ini, kalau kau nak bagi dia fully face and dilated Maksudnya dia dah prime So that masa dia dah betul-betul kawal ni, dia terus boleh Habis-habisan Dan bila kau naikkan dia And everything Dia takkan cepat tutup Kalau tak habis buka ni Sampai kat sini uh, Nanti takut uh, CO2 apa tu, estimation dia jadi uh, tak betul sebab benda ni tutup. Itu yang sebab dia. You don't want the stomata untuk tutup. Sebab stomata is the only door untuk bagi CO2 masuk. Kalau dia tutup macam mana? Kan? Tapi unless kalau anak engkau tak nak keluar ikut jalan betul, at least kau boleh seizure kan dia. Right. How? Lama ya? Kau selalu pijak lagi. Oh. Tapi memang masa kat Madi tu pun RH ni macam struggling kan? Ha. Ha. Aku buat trick kat benda tu. Yeah. Memang masa kat Madi Kalau tu. Kalau pergi tu pun dia ada juga tau. Masa tu kan kita ambil measure tu. Lepas tu kita buat macam mana? Naikkan dia punya ni. ni uh. Bila dia last calibrate benda ni? Macam mana habis ni? Belum calibrate dia daripada benda tu. Tepu 19 lah. Kan? Ui lama sangat lah tu. Mesin kalau kau selalu guna Dia maksimum 18 ke 24 bulan je Apa-apa hal kau kena pergi hantar dah Aku rasa, aku rasa mesin ni struggling lah Sebab dia akan ingat kat badi tu kan Memang benda tak masalah lah Ha, lepas tu aku nampak dia punya tu macam berkarat Tak, kalau dekat luar karat Maksudnya kat dalam ada benda lagi Baik kau nasihatkan dia pergi A max before 200 CI That's how you know pokok tu C4 Another way is, ada banyak sebenarnya, ada banyak cara uh, Quantum yield ni, yang slope tadi tu If you plot it against different temperature C4 plus sama saja. Stabil Ya, yeah. ini betul memang ada ada data ni, C3 time memang rise memang menjunam yeah. With your increase temperature Another Another way adalah tengok Photosynthesis versus temperature. Kalau pokok tu C4 sampai dekat 40 degree pun dia masih boleh lagi. Tapi for the C3 plant, yep, yep. Dah nak kena kurang cari ni kan? Tak kan? Aku juga yang kena buka buku tu. Ini buku tau, ni buku. Buku ha, buku tais, buku tais aku selalu usung loh. Ah, buku tu lah. Okay, ada lagi 6 point. Satu daun, satu pokok ya. Kalau macam ada 23 pun, kita boleh Itulah masalahnya benda ni, kau, kau hanya boleh buat sampai pukul 12.30 saja sebab nanti pokok tu tidur. Ha. Lepas tu, walaupun nak sambung waktu petang, kau tak boleh buat banyak lah, mungkin maksimum 3 atau 4 pokok ya aku boleh buat petang tu. Sebab itu benda ni, bukan buat untuk setiap sampel. Kita ambil representatif dia selalu Ya, satu cuma satu uh, Kalau maksimum pun kita ambil minimum nombor which is tiga Ya, kalau dia ada sepuluh treatment Lepas tu dia tak tahu mana ada kan Kita setiap kan ambil sepuluh treatment Macam ni, untuk setiap treatment combination Minimum tiga Tiga dia ambil Kalau macam ni ambil masa setengah jam kan eh? Kau dah nak dalam masa tu sebab tu elit dia tak buat benda ni eksperimen ni dia ba- dia um, dia bagi client tu buat sendiri sebab benda ni masa melainkan kalau pokok tu tanam atas ni boleh buat dalam ni tak apalah at least kalau benda kajalah kau nak boleh pergi sana tu kan kalau dekat ladang bayangkan kat tengah-tengah ladang buat benda ni tak balik rumah kau malam tu uh, yang yang tu kan tak Ha? Kan kalau masa muda 
Berapa banyak beza yang kita boleh, boleh maksudnya kata benda tu ni ada antrax apa? <coughs> dia dia ada link benda ni lagi hmm. banyak data point lagi rapat lagi tepat in, apa tu prediction antara okay. kita dapat dua ni kan yeah. ni semua predict kalau uh, jauh prediction punya accuracy tu kurang tapi kalau kita tiba-tiba ada satu lagi data kat sini prediction lebih tepat uh, lagi banyak data point lagi tepat prediction modeling. Oh ni maksudnya the point uh, Ya 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 ya. Tak tak maksudnya yang tadi ni kan ada kalau sini perempuan dan mesti ni perempuan mesti. Ha. Uh-huh. Mula-mula ke, kita dapat 17. Uh-huh. So kita ingat inilah dia punya stable. Ya 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 ya. Dia pun dapat 22. How big kita nak kata macam apa beza antara yang first dengan second? Oh ni, uh, about 20%. 20%. Kalau kalau 20%. dia bawah, dia bawah kalau dia bawah 20% uh-huh. itu dikira similar. Yeah. Kalau lebih 20% kau tahu benda ni tak settle lagi. Ah uh, ikiralah macam 20 22 per 17 awal so, oh, persen. Ha kira 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 kira. <laughs> Bunyi tu. Mai aku dah. Boleh boleh tak buat dia tu? Eh, saya sekarang ada menu. Okay. Dia ada dia tu dah tak ada menu. Okay. So mungkin yang tu lebih update daripada yang ini. Ah. Okay, dah. Ah, apa yang gagal? Is it done? Wan, sorry, 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 satu lagi, satu lagi. Tolong, prep up balik benda ni. Okay, simpan. Siap. So nanti pergi tengok macam mana transfer data. Pernah tengok? Apa tak? Apa dia tengok tengok lah hidup sangat kan? Asyik tengok aku, tengok aku, tengok aku. Lepas tu kena maki. Okay dah. Uh, semua dah tu boleh tutup lah kot. Uh, close file. So boleh tutup mesin lepas tu uh, transfer data. Uh, Mi tolong tunjuk macam transfer supaya dia pun tahu. Macam mana? Ya yeah, guna uh, transfer pindah ni tu je. Transfer data. Ni unclaim. Unclaim this plan. Ah? Boleh? Oh ya. Yeah. Ah, yeah, ya yeah. ya. Angkat je ni. So, ni ramai dia. Ah, angkat angkat. Guna use your hand. Tolak lah benda ni. Kita pay. Nak raya dia aku, berpuluh-puluh mesin aku kena tahu. Dan kau tengok tu pun dah lupa. Haa. Ah, pergi tengok. Masa mana ambil data. Nah, this, this would be the final scene. Ah. Okay. Oh, you take the book.
tahu. Ah, otak. Ah, otak. Tak boleh. Lagi. Hmm, dia pun. Seven. Tak ada. Ha? Tak ada banyak. Tak ada dalam tu dia. Tengok tarikh ni Oh sama Sama Sama-sama Oh, 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 tak ada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> window, window, window 8. Komputer aku ni dulu ada dia punya tu. Oh. Komputer ni, ha. dia ada wireless dongle. Kat belakang. Ni kot. Ah. Komputer ni, ada dia ready tak? Oh, tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada. Wi-Fi. Oh, Wi-Fi dia kena install juga dah. Install. <laughs> Eh.
Tu je tak phone ni dah weh. Oh, baru baru masuk. Ha, baru masuk. Ah, lama. Apa? Main atau. Betul main ada. Satu lagi. Satu eh, tiga belas kan? Kita apa? Dah, dah tiga belas. Terus file. Terus file dulu. Ya, guys. Terus file dulu. It's still running. Di sini ada yang mana? Belum. Belum lagi. Tengah bintang itu. Oh. Sudah sudah. Jangan tutup komputer tu. Use the computer untuk transfer data out. Okay. Terus file Ah, so ni tadi orang jawab Kalau dia orang tak sepuluh sendiri Kuda komputer tu Tapi UPM, UPM ni. Ha ni. Tapi yang ni ha duk bateri ni yang burst burst kan ni. Tapi bateri aku rosak ke? Ni rosak. Tak tahu. Sebab aku bateri dah rosak bateri aku. Ha? Bagi dia. Ha? Bagi dia. Guna dah bateri kau kejar. Cuk dalam ni. Tak payah masukkan. Cuk je kabel dia. Dah terputus. Belum lagi kan? Sudah 
Dah 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 Oh. Tu 14 lah. Kau lebih. Kenapa lebih? Tengok balik. Kau macam ni. Kalau 14 tu kau buat 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, Dah, kalau Masa macam mana? Sebab kalau bintang masa dia masa tengah mana? Dah, 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 Bila sebelum atas Masa dia maksimum lah Tapi ACI mana guna ni? Wah, ni lain ni, CO2 dia Ni baru 100 100 Hai? Kenapa dah epik balik? Kenapa? Tak sudah lagi ke? Ah, oh, tak sudah lagi Berapa ribu poin korang buat? Tadi ikut macam tu je lah Yang di pak kotak semua dia kata Eh. 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 Okay um, Ni jam Tak tahu apa Foto Time you balance foto Oh dia tak beritahu si auto sekejap um, Escape Data set D. Time balance Tak ada Ya Oh, pasal bateri tu kan? Ha. <laughs> oh, sekejap. Ada ah, sudah. Satu lagi. Jam tak bintang. Apa yang masa ada 1000 poin. Pantang aku tak tengok kan. Kenapa kalau aku tak tengok aja mesti ada masalah. Ya sebab aku tengok kan. <laughs> Tak gila bintang Sekejap, dia tak berjaya-berjaya tak bunyi Sekejap, lambat sikit bunyi Weh, kenapa lock 16? Sekejap 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 ya Let me see Dia adalah B C D Batu dia E Ini tadi um, Low light curve 
ini Yossi I Yossi I ni tak apa pening tak apa sesadah kan ni tak apa je lah tak apa je lah benda tak apa je tak apa je Ni empat tujuh puluh. Ni empat tujuh puluh. Oh, tak back space habis. Tadi tak back space, back space habis kot. Kenapa dia empat tujuh puluh sini? Tadi, wah sahaja kita start Bukan sini ah, Kita start sini. Dia, eh, balik tak ni dah ke depan. Eh? Kau buat dua kali. Ya, oh. lah. Ni yang depan kan? Ya? Haa, ni depan. Makam. Ah ni start dulu ni ni. Oh, sini so dulu. Ah, habis, ah. Tak habis tak habis. Eh. Dah boleh. Betul betul. Dah boleh. 60k. Tolong saya dah mati dah. Dah. Ni saya minta tau. Tak tak payah kan? Tak payah. Ada lagi. Ha. Fit. Okay, alright. Okay, I think that's all for today.